G'day folks. Well, recently we've seen a real interest in lithium batteries being mounted in four-wheel drives. And I think one of the driving factors is the weight. We're all trying to lose a few kilos, not just around here, but in our vehicles as well, to keep them legal and under that GVM. And when you look at lithium batteries, your average one that you'd fit to one of these things is probably about 12.9, 13 kilos. Your average lead acid deep cycle battery probably weighs closer to 30 to 35 kilos. So you're looking at a weight saving there of about 20 kilograms just in one battery, let alone if you fit a couple, obviously you're doubling that saving. But we do know that lithium batteries are pretty damn expensive. They will cost you around about sort of five to six times more than another battery, but you do get a lot more bang for your buck. I've been running this Revolution battery in the back of my Amarok for ooh, a bit over 12 months now. I've mounted it back here in the corner, but with these batteries, they're actually gasless. Now, you might not appreciate it, but your old lead acid batteries, they do emit a gas and they need to be actually mounted in specific places and vented and all that sort of stuff. Not so much these lithium ones. You can also mount them at all sorts of different angles too, if you like. So it's pretty handy when you are modifying your four wheel drive. But I think where these batteries really come into their own is with the power that they actually generate and their charge profile. So with your regular batteries, you can only charge them down to around about 50% of their capacity. You go lower than that and you will actually kill the battery. With these things, with the lithium, you can actually drive them all the way down to empty and they will give you a full power output all the way until they are empty and then they'll shut down. These things, you can charge them up from empty in a couple of hours. Your old school deep cycle batteries can take between six to 12 hours to actually charge back up. Now, if you're going from campsite to campsite as a four wheel driver, it might only be half an hour, a couple of hours up the road. You don't always have that nice six hour drive to actually charge things back up. So in practical terms, lithium starts to win big time. One other pretty interesting factor, folks, is that this battery, the manufacturer claims, will last up to 10 years. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm lucky to get a couple of years, sometimes only 12 months, out of my deep cycle batteries. When you actually start to look at that, that long-term proposition, that investment in the battery, and start to think about the price, the value, it starts to become pretty good. Not to mention just that reliability when you're off in those remote locations, knowing that you can rely on that battery and you can use all the power in it. So in my eyes, it's a thumbs up. This brand here is called Revolution Power Australia. There are a bunch of different lithium batteries around on the market. Some of them are coming out of some pretty suspect companies and uh, you know, what is on the label isn't always what's inside. This is definitely at the pointy end of that spectrum. So it is one of the more expensive ones, but so far for me, it's been a pretty cool experience. So check them out folks.